Hi there, Aries, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of May the 25th through to the 31st. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out, see what's going on for Aries this week. First up, we have Major, no, Minor Arcana, the uh, Eight of Cups reversed, followed then by Major Arcana, the um, Wheel of Fortune, followed then by the King of Swords up. Followed by the King of Cups upright. And lastly, Wheel of Fortune. I mean, wow. I think I need, just need to slow down right now. Okay. The Lovers in the upright position. You have two major arcana here in the upright position. And um, looks like things might be a little... You have two people and two major arcana. What's going on here this week for you, Aries? <clears throat> we have the Eight of Cups here in the reverse position. So... For me, this tells me basically that there's some maybe emotional, something that's just not right on the emotional front in your life, Aries. For some of you, remember, if it only take what resonates for you, if it doesn't, don't worry about it, it wasn't meant for you. But sometimes in the Eight of Cups in reverse, this can point back to the Seven of Cups in the upright position, which is a, a, a card representing a lot of options and a lot of opportunities. So... It could be the way that uh, I see the Eight of Cups in reverse is though we're looking for emotional fulfillment. Some people get their emotional fulfillment from their uh, work. Some get it from their hobbies, careers, um, obviously from relationships. So some of you could be maybe looking to go to a past relationship, a past hobby, a past situation um, to find something that you're... Uh, your heart's desire because the eight of cups in the upright is when we're that's when we're on the go on the move looking for the nine of cups the wish fulfillment card um, but when it's in reverse this is like sometimes it represents going back to the past to try to find that emotional uh, thing because a lot of times you know we walk away from something and we don't realize we get busy with other things in our lives and then we realize hey wait a minute um you know i feel this void this emotional void uh i know that i i was happy when i hung out with these people and you know had my weekly uh game playing you know uh crowd that i hung out with and so forth maybe it's that kind of thing maybe you're just missing um hanging out with a certain group of people and maybe doing your uh weekly whatever it is you did together sometimes it was like get together with girls for drinks or get together go to the gym or get together uh, a couple of couples to you know uh play some board games what have you and that kind of brings that emotional fulfillment. Others of you could be a relationship you left in the past and you just want to maybe go back there, revisit it, see if there's still a spark there. Others of you, this could be about a career. Maybe you're trying to make a change, go back to something you once did that you once actually enjoyed doing. <laughs> now, coming right off the hop, we do have the um, Major Arcana here, Wheel of Fortune in the upright position. Beautiful energy. I do love the Wheel of Fortune. This is where we're sort of at the right place at the right time. So if you are looking for something, there's a good chance at the beginning of the week, Aries, you may find it. For others of you, it could represent good luck. Perhaps uh, you're, you know, going into the store, buying a lottery ticket, winning a few dollars, or uh, you just happen to, you know, look on the internet and you find your ideal uh, dream job is, um, you know, posting, that kind of thing. Just being at the right place at the right time, moving towards your destiny because we're no longer standing in our own way. We, we a lot of times resistance puts up that um, barrier for us to get to where we need to go or where we want to go or manifest or however. But when there's no resistance there and we just kind of like throw our arms up and go, okay, well, you know, whatever's going to happen is going to happen. And we don't worry about it too much. We get out of our own way. And a lot of times that's when the luck can move in because we're not trying to control anything, you know. And it's paired up here with the King of Swords in the upright position. This is court card could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is air energy, that of uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female. Others of you could represent a, a person in the legal field. It can represent a military person, an arbitrator. Uh, some of you, if you are dealing with the law, this could be 
representative of um, a lawyer or uh, like I said, an arbitrator or something like that. <clears throat> Others of you, this could be a, a family member, a friend, a, a love interest. And the King of Swords is someone who communicates very clearly, leaves emotion out of it, just talks you know, who just wants to have that conversation to clear the air, to make sure that everything is understood. Um, the King of Swords in the upright position could represent sometimes somebody speaking on your behalf, you know, where um, maybe there was a situation at work or with your finances or even at the family. And perhaps the King of Swords could be a, a family authoritarian who stands up and, you know, sort of explains things on your behalf. Others of you, this could just be um, a partner or a, uh, a crush or something like that that wants to have a clear-cut conversation with you. Moving on, it's interesting because now the emotions enter into it. We do start off with the, an emotional a cup card here. Uh, so now we've got the King of Cups here in the upright position. This is uh, Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy, Sun, Moon, Rising, male or female. It could be for some of you that the King of Cups is an emotional uh, connection. So perhaps some of you are um, getting very connected. Some of you could have two people in your life. Maybe you're dating two different uh, people. Now remember the cards are not gender specific, so it could be male or female. Perhaps you're dating two different people and one's really, really mental and cerebral, the person you can talk to. The other one could be extremely emotional and, um, and, and showing a lot of compassion, understanding and caring. Uh, this could also be your own energy, maybe flip-flopping through the week here, Aries. Maybe in the beginning of the week, you feel more cerebral and towards the end of the week, you're feeling more emotional. Or maybe uh, something, you know, materializes on the emotional front and it's bringing the emotions out in you again. And the last card we have up here is the Gemini card. The lovers in the upright position. Some of you could be dealing with a Gemini. We do see the King of Swords here in the upright position. The uh, lovers in the upright generally represents uh, having to make a choice or a decision. We do see, I just said, that some of you could be involved with two different people. Maybe you have to, at the end of the week, make a decision. Uh, not necessarily romantic, although the lovers can definitely indicate making a choice uh, on the love front. But this can also represent partnership. Maybe uh, you've been offered a partnership from an air sign and a water sign and you have to sort of ch uh, choose between the two of them. But whatever it is, I think you're, you're making this choice or this decision at the end of the week. Aries, remember, you do have uh, luck on your side. So whatever it is you choose, I think you're going to make the right decision. I hope this reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you next week. Bye-bye for now.